Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello, Daddy. Daddy, this is Carol. Get ready for a big surprise. I'm going to be married. That's all right with me, but don't bring anything home to frighten your dad. Uh, uh, who is this? My name is Duke Bradley, a friend of your father's. Why don't you try it sometime? Uh, put my father on the phone. Who is it? Oh, it's some fool. I would like to speak to my father. He isn't here. Where can he get you? I'm at Northborough House. Now, what's the address? Northborough House is the county seat of the Duke of Northborough. Say, you better take that crown off your head and come home. Wh what's that? Who do you think you're talking to? Who is it, darling? Will you please tell me where my father is, that I may call him there? Well, if you must know, he's down at the doctor's. He's having a little trouble with his heart. Heart? I is it serious? Well, he'd be better off without it. Tell Father I'll take the next boat home. Now you're talking, honey, even if you have to bring that foreign monkey with you. What did he say? Nothing. I... And please tell my father that I'm marrying a perfectly good American, Hartley Madison of New York. Who did you say? Hartley Madison. Well, nice going, honey. You certainly hooked a big one. Bring him home. I want to give him a kiss. Hey, wait a minute. Here comes your father now. Hello? 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 She hung up on me. That's Miss Cal, all right. Chuck full of temper ever since she was born. Hello, Frank. <laughs> I've just been talking to your daughter. To Carol? How is she, Duke? Well, get yourself set for some great news. The little lady has hooked herself a very wealthy chump. Hooked? She's going to be married. No. To Hartley Madison. Well, you don't say. Not that rich New York fella. Nobody else. A sucker in the family. <laughs> now we'll go places. We'll have a real breeding farm again. Hundreds of brood mares and blooded stallions. We'll put Brookvale back on the map where it belongs. <laughs> I'm not. You said it, Rosetta. Just a minute. Are you fellas calling him a sucker? Sure. Well, who was it I heard took you for $50,000 once at Belmont? Well, hardly medicine. I thought so. And he's the sucker, eh? Ah, uh, medicine just happened to quit when he was ahead. His old man died, I think, and he had to take over the business. But if I can only get him back again. Hot dog. I'll help you, Duke. I'll make Carol bring him round. Grandpa, you're a pal. Duke, are you crazy? Why? Why, a big plunger like Hartley Madison could wind you up. You or any other bookmaker. Why, he's got a bankroll like the U.S. Treasury. Frank, ever since the Depression, I've been making book for Piker Betters. Fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars tops. But happy days are here again. Your little girl is bringing home the biggest better of the lot. Well, all I can say is you've got plenty of nerve. Frank, I love you.